The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Rails Puppet in the game. Today, we're taking a closer look at the holy grail of trap vocal plugins, the brand new AutoTune Pro. Now, if you're familiar with AutoTune, the first thing you're gonna notice that's different is Auto Key. And you could just drag this down on your master and very easily detect the key of your song. Now, the example I have here is a track off my upcoming mixtape. Hey, hey. And as you'll see, Back when I was young, I knew that I was great. Couldn't see it going any other way. Boom, immediately got it correct. Hit send to auto-tune, and every instance of auto-tune in your Ableton session will then snap into this key. And you can just get rid of this plugin, and let's take a look down here at our vocal. Now the first thing that you're going to notice is they have streamlined the user interface a ton. As the song plays, Back when I was young, I knew that I was it shows you what? key the singer is singing, and then it just gives you your standard four controls. Retune speed, which is like your pitch quantizing amount. Flex tune, which kind of gives you varying amounts of this knob. Um, natural vibrato, which you can either increase or decrease the vibrato in the performance. And then humanize, which kind of takes the bends between the pitches and uh, makes them a little less sharp. For example, if you're putting this on a trap vocal where it's singing in melodic, chances are the singing in the original isn't too in tune. <clears throat> Back when I was young, I knew that I was great. Couldn't see it going any other way. So the singing there isn't quite as tuned as you'd like it to be, so we have to run this a little high, but then you get really sharp corners between the notes, and this is where Humanize comes in and kind of smooths it out a little bit more without having to uh, Turn your retune speed down. Hey, hey. Back when I was young, I knew that I was great. Couldn't see it going any other way. Hustle, yeah, hustle till they know the name. Till they know the name. I've been visualizing like it's everything. But for trap music, human eyes probably won't ever really get used. It's all about the retune speed. Now, the next really, really exciting new feature is the ability to enable the classic algorithm. So with this blue classic button turned on, what you're getting is a bypass of all these formant controlling uh, additions that they made over the years since Auto-Tune 5. Um, it's kind of like in Ableton, the difference between Complex and Complex Pro, where, where Complex Pro kind of maintains the formant of your voice, while Complex just lets it pitch up and down freely. Back when I was young, I knew that I was I know, classic mode just sounds great to me. Just so crispy. Do they know the name? I've been visualizing like it's everything. See it through my third eye when I meditate. I don't chase no paper, it just come to me. It also makes it a little bit more swirly, gives you more of the classic uh, like auto-tune flutter that you'd hear in like Lil Wayne or T-Pain vocals. So auto-tune pro really giving us what we want with some more options in tone. Do your 808 sound like they belong in a recycling bin? Are your trap productions lacking that fresh organic hot sauce? Here at Whole Loops, we've got the product for you. Introducing Urban Beats 3. The latest addition to our best-selling bundle of trap snares, poppin', percussions, and the most disrespectful 808s we've ever harvested. Urban Beats 3 is available now only at wholeloops.com. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into the tone options, you can turn on formants and adjust the throat length. And this is a little bit like the formants in Little Alter Boy. Back when I was young, I knew that I was good. Yeah. As you can see, there's a lot of fun to be had here. Um, just 
really makes this plugin that much more juicy. Absolutely love the new features up here that Autotune gives you. But like I said, Classic is still my favorite and I'm so glad it's here. Now, if you want more control, you can turn on Advanced View. And this gives you more control over a custom vibrato, which uh, I'm not trying to make a custom vibrato right now, and some key controls. Now, what you have here with the key controls is if, Back when I was young, I knew that if I was you're looking great. at the little chart up here and you say, oh, wow, I never sing a uh, C. Back when I was young, I knew that I was great. Couldn't see it going any other way. Just by eliminating the C from the scale, you're helping Autotune just make better decisions on what it thinks you're trying to sing. And then the row above it, bypass, is if you really nailed all the D flats in your performance, but you wanted it to tune all the other ones, you could tell it not to tune the D flat when it hears a D flat. But we're not trying to do that either. For trap vocals, your settings are really going to be looking something like this. Back when I was young, I knew that I was great. Couldn't see it going any other way. Hustle, yeah, hustle until they know the name. Now, the final thing I wanted to talk about in this auto-tune video is a comment that I get all the time, and it is, why can't I see my installation of auto-tune in Ableton? And that is very simply because you have to visit the file and folder section of your settings and make sure you use audio units is on. Because as you can see, when I turn that off, auto-tune disappeared. Um, <clears throat> if you want to use auto-tune as a VST, like if you're a Windows user, you can't use audio units at all, which is why a lot of people kind of get screwed without reading that little notice in the checkout, because you have to use Auto-Tune as an audio unit in Ableton unless you buy the UAD version. But the UAD version is just old school Auto-Tune 8 that I've covered in a bunch of videos before. And honestly, I'm still using this on every song. And the way I use this is on my background vocals because this won't juice up your CPU like this does. About four instances of this and my MacBook Pro is just tapping out. So I still use this in every single song. It's just to spread out the workload onto the UAD boxes. Um, yeah, kind of more of just a uh, necessity rather than a stylistic thing, but for making like a lead vocal, it's good to use this one. It is so good just because of the options. If you're a vocal producer and you're serious about producing trap vocals, pop vocals, uh, just about anything where you're going to want a radio polish on your song, you're going to need Auto-Tune. Now, you're not going to need the most expensive version of Auto-Tune here, Auto-Tune Pro. Any of the cheaper versions on the website will get you that. Um, if you own one of the other versions already, it's just 130 bucks to upgrade to Auto-Tune Pro. If you don't own anything yet, you're going to have to fork out 400 for Auto-Tune Pro, but man, it will repay you so many times. It's unbelievable. So... Autotune does not pay me to promote their software. In fact, they don't have to pay anyone to promote their software. They've already had every rapper on earth promote their software. So please understand that this is just me telling you from the bottom of my heart that Autotune is the sauce. And if you don't have Autotune Pro, I highly recommend upgrading to it. I hope this helped you find some clarity in the difference between them. Maybe you were one of those people leaving the comment asking why your copy of Autotune doesn't work in Ableton. Thank you so much for watching. I'll put some links to my other videos about Autotune in the description. I'll see you guys in the comments below, and I'll catch you next week with another tutorial. Peace out.